All right, welcome back. We are in day two of triangle congruence. Yesterday we worked on the side angle side postulate as well as side 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 postulate. Today we're moving on to two new postulates. The first one is called angle side angle. The second one is called angle angle side. Okay, so as yesterday we had the abbreviation, we're going to write our abbreviation in here. And before we get started, again, make sure that you have a lot of color. I have an orange highlighter and a yellow highlighter that I plan to use. I've got a mechanical pencil, I have got my pen, and I've got an eraser, just in case I make any mistakes. It's always a good idea. So angle, side, angle, postulate talks about triangles, and we're talking about triangle congruence. So the abbreviation for angle, side, angle, I'm going to try and do this so you can see it, is A-S-A. -A. So angle, side, angle. And the angle, side, angle postulate says triangles. I'm going to start talking in math language again because I am fluent and so are you. Are congruent if any two angles and their included cap lock included side are equal another word for equal congruent in both triangles All right, so what does that mean? So if we look over here on our picture, we have two triangles, they look to be the same. So we are going to say two angles, one angle, one angle. And then I'm gonna come over here and go, I'm gonna say this is the second angle. Any two pairs of angles. Okay, their included side. What would be the side that is included? So the included side would be the one that connects the two angles. So this angle and this angle are connected by this side. And this angle and this angle are connected by this side. So therefore, this would be angle, side, angle, postulate. Because they're in the same order. Okay, if we picked a different angle, if we had this angle up top and this angle here, it would be angle, it would have to be this side that we're talking about. But since we have these two angles, it has to be the side that connects them. Make sense? I hope it makes sense. Okay, the second one that we're going to talk about is angle, angle, side. Angle, angle, side. An angle, angle, side postulate says triangles are congruent. Remember, it's always going to start off with triangles are congruent if and this is where they're gonna change. If two pairs of corresponding, ooh, there's that word again, corresponding angles and a pair of opposite sides are equal. What's that word for equal again? Starts with a C. Congruent in both triangles. Okay? So again, let's let's come over to our images over here and we can pick any two angles. So I'm going to pick some different angles for angle angle side than I did for angle side angle. I'm going to pick the top angle and I'm going to pick the bottom right angle because it says two pairs of corresponding angles. So we have our two pairs of corresponding angles and a pair of opposite sides. So what sides are opposite of these angles? You actually have two options. You have the yellow option. This is a side that is opposite the two angles. And if this one, you would have this. Okay, the other one that you have, actually, you have more than one option. You have this side that I'm gonna highlight in orange. 
this hot side is also opposite. So what we have to have is we have to have the opposite side and we have to have the mark on the same. So if it's an orange mark down here, which is where I'm going to put my mark, then it's got to be on the orange line over here. You can't have a mark on the orange line here and the yellow line over there. That would not be angle, angle side congruency. They have to be corresponding, okay, in both triangles. I hope that helps. Let's, and let me actually, I'm gonna highlight, I'm gonna highlight up here the included side. There we go, included side. All right, let's go down to some of our triangle pairs down here. We're gonna do some practice. You have the uh, postulates in front of you, so I'm gonna slide all the way down so that you can see all eight. On your paper, you do not have these markings. So please pause your computer right now and put these markings on your paper. Okay, now that you are back, we're gonna look at some of these and I'm gonna jump around a little bit. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do the whole left side. I'm gonna do one and three and five and seven. And for homework, you're gonna do two and four and six and eight, okay? So as I look at one, I see angles. I see a side next to the angles and I see another pair of angles. So this one is angle, side, angle. And I will highlight the included side between the two angles. As we look at number three, we have a pair of angles corresponding, another pair of corresponding angles, and this side. Let me highlight the side, and let me see where it is. Is the side included? Yes or no? Hmm. Let's see. Angle, angle. So it is definitely not included. Angle, 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 side. Angle, angle, side. So this one would be angle, angle, side. Okay? For number five, let's look. We have, let's see where our side is located. On the first shape, it is included. Angle, side, angle. And these are actually congruent angles on the bottom. And on this one, our side is over here. It is not included. This one would be angle, angle, side. So since they are not the same and they don't have the corresponding or same, I'm gonna write an N there because they are not congruent. Now let's look at the last one. Let's look at number seven. We have angle, side, angle. Good. These are actually angles are congruent. Look over here, we have angle, side, angle. The side is included, but there's one problem. See the double arc right there? We only have a single arc right here. So that tells us that these are not congruent. So on this one, I'm also gonna put an N because they are not congruent. Okay, what I want you to do right now, do number two, number four, Number six, number eight, bring it into class tomorrow uh, with your answers down. And if you have any questions, and we're going to practice in class tomorrow. Have a great day.